There is absolutely no doubt whatsoever in my mind that civil engineering is one of the most socially beneficial professions that there is. Civil engineering has always been done for a purpose, to achieve something for people and for society. Everything that you ever come across in your life has probably been touched in some way by a civil engineer. What we're really doing is we're contributing significantly to creating the built environment. So how we humans live, work, move around the natural environment. We have road networks everywhere that are constantly growing. We have railways, we have tunnels. Switching the lights on in the morning, having a shower, being able to get to wherever you're going, it's all been facilitated by civil engineers. Civil engineers are so heavily involved in the way that we live our lives. You have an opportunity to make a change. Everything is enabled by the fact that we have infrastructure, and infrastructure is made by engineers. I became an engineer because as a 17-year-old, I really, really wanted to change the world. I wanted to make a difference to people's lives, and I saw engineering as the way in to do that. I didn't start off wanting to be an engineer. I wanted to get into musical theatre and, you know, inspire that way. But I loved science and I really loved problem solving. I found that engineering was the, the only industry that really tied all of that together. Be open to the things that motivate you about and the things that you want to change in the world. Know that if you are dedicated and if you want to do it, you're good enough to do it. Take your interest and your belief in your, your own capability and just run with it and enjoy the ride. If you like the idea of having fun doing things for, um, for society, for people, um, then there's every chance you're going to make a brilliant civil engineer. So anyone thinking of getting into engineering just needs to look at what problems do I see that I want to change and then think, can civil engineering help me do that? And I think the answer is almost always yes. You can be creative, you can be imaginative, and actually your work can inspire others. If you look at Telford or Brunel, their heritage is lasting hundreds of years. What we do equally is going to influence many generations. If you think about the intelligence, the knowledge which is captured, but actually trapped in these books, my role within digital engineering is to actually liberate this information, make it digital, so actually we can look at it. We can look at it even on our mobile phones. The whole embankment north of the river was built by Bazalgette to house the sewers. While he was at it, he built the world's first underground railway, just because he could. You know, these, these guys were mad. They were, they were doing things that had never been done before, but that didn't stop them, they did it anyway. And that's kind of what it feels like now still. You know, sometimes I look at the things that we do and, and you stand back and you think, we are doing things that have never been done before, not been done in this way, because you've got a bunch of uh, committed, enthusiastic, smart people almost inspiring each other to, to come up with even wackier ways of doing things. Those kind of processes take you to some, some conclusions that you think, wow, yeah, that's right, that's how to do that. The teamwork within this, uh, within this industry is, is unbelievable. You're working with clients, with architects, with builders, with artists. This teamwork and this vibe that you're all in it together and you're all getting somewhere, that is the most rewarding thing for me. We're building the world, right? If only a few of us are building it, that's not good enough. The social aspect of what we do, the people who we interact with and, and how they feel about it. And the only way you're going to do that is if those people are in the conversation. It's not just a bridge, it's not just a motorway. Actually, we're, we have to live, breathe, eat through all of that. So how do we do that in a way which is successful, obviously for society and economy, but also makes this a happier world? Society's changing, technology's changing, the world is changing. And many of the solutions for that lie in the infrastructure that, that we, we rely on. There's never been a greater need for civil engineers to address the issues that we're facing, and I, and I think it's more important now than it's probably ever been. It is going to be civil engineers that are going to rise to the challenges that we face. What I would say to somebody who's thinking of going for civil engineering as a career is go for it. 
for me, civil engineering is one of the most magical professions to be part of and I'm really, really proud that I get to do that every day.